Over to boxing, and this weekend sees the return to the ring for Anthony Joshua's potential heavyweight unification opponent, Deontay Wilder. He faces the Cuban Luis Ortiz at the Barclays Center in New York in the early hours of Sunday morning. Both men are undefeated and have crazy knockout rates. Wilder has won 39 fights, 38 by knockout, and he holds the WBC belt. He's the younger and more athletic of the two. In fact, he has seven years on his opponent. Luis Ortiz has ridiculous punch power, so will always have a chance as long as he's in the ring. But I think age will be the defining factor of this fight. And the longer the fight goes on, the more I favor Deontay Wilder due to his stamina and work rate. So for that reason, my tip is Deontay Wilder to win by knockout. Kel Brook returns to the ring this weekend to face the Belarusian Sergei Rabchenko at the Sheffield Arena on Saturday night. Brook needs to get his career back on track, having lost his last two fights. They were, however, against two of the best boxers on the planet in Gennady Golovkin and Errol Spence Jr. Brook will want to put on a show in front of his home fans in Sheffield, but Sergei Rabchenko is going to be a very difficult opponent. He likes to come forward and is an aggressive fighter. He's won 29 of his 31 fights, and I feel he's a dangerous opponent. Kel Brook isn't a knockout artist, but does have a very respectable knockout record. He's had 38 fights, won 36, 25 of which were knockouts. However, I fancy this fight to go the distance and be very, very close. But my tip is for Kel Brook to just edge it in front of his home fans. So Kel Brook, by points or decision, that's where the value is. Good luck and we'll see you later.